Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OC review video. Today we are taking a look at case C of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks for 2022 and this is a pretty cool case. I'm going to be doing every single case from case B to case G in the coming weeks because I'm finally caught up thanks to a lot of different friends of mine who helped me get these trucks because I have not seen anything besides case A and case B in my stores all year. So thankfully, there were a lot of friendly people who helped me out, and they'll get shoutouts throughout each video. But this is case C, and I want to give a shout-out to Bryant and Alicia, as well as Brian Spaulding, for helping me get these trucks that you're going to see in this review today. So here they are, the new trucks of case C. We have the Rhino Mite from the brand new Comic Book Crasher series. It is number one of five. We have the psychedelic version of Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery. Then we have a brand new casting, Buns of Steel, a Hot Wheels car made into monster truck form now, part of the Smack Pack series. And then my favorite of the case and probably one of the best trucks of the entire year, something that everyone's looking forward to finding or have already found in this case, the Back to the Future Time Machine DeLorean from the Back to the Future movie series. One of my favorite trilogies of all time as well. This is amazing to finally see in Hot Wheels monster trucks. So today's review is going to start with the Hot Wheels delivery. Here's the back of the car if you're curious to see the other trucks in this case. We have the Corvette, Tiger Shark, Volkswagen Drag Bus, and Thanos from the Marvel series. All repeat trucks. These are the four new ones. And here are the stats for the Dairy Delivery if you're curious to see them. So let's unbox the Dairy Delivery from Psychedelic series right now. And actually that was easy enough. So there is Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery by Psychedelic. It is my least favorite currently of the Psychedelic series. They've done a bunch of different ones that have been much better, especially that Recreational and the Volkswagen Beetle, though they're both some of my favorites of the entire Hot Wheels series ever. But here is the uh, Psychedelic series edition of Dairy Delivery nonetheless. So as you can see, the side here is very 70s or 60s, whatever this era style is to you guys. You can see it has a really cool Hot Wheels logo with that 60s font, a nice rainbow with a star, and then we have flowers and the Monstrux logo also modified to be a 60s style uh, right there. And the tailgate, same thing, the big version of that same Monstrux style logo with the rainbow coming back to the back here. We have the flowers and the paint job is a black metallic with a blue windshield insert. This side, giant Hot Wheels in yellow and black with that same font, Monstrux logo, some flowers scattered around in the rainbow in the background. And the front grille is blank, but we do have a cool Hot Wheels and weird looking spiral in rainbow form on the roof and hood with that Monster Trucks logo again with a green roll cage, chrome chassis, black rims, and yellow beadlocks with black tires. So I actually, now that I've seen this side and all the colors, this is not too bad. I really like the Psychedelic series in general. So this is really cool to have. The only thing I wish they would have done maybe would have been like a rainbow spiral rim choice. That's the only thing that they could have added to it for a rim cap cover like they had with the Recreational and the Volkswagen Beetle. So there is the Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery by Psychedelic. And next up is the Rhino might from the comic book crashers number 19 of 75 of the year and as you can see there there are the stats so let's unbox the next rhino might in the 164 scale series right now a very cool casting uh they've only released one so far as far as the 164 scale series goes i think they've done a couple in 124 scale but as you can see it is a comic book style artwork here in color we have crush we have the rhino might logo lots of different comic book style illustrations with the red lines the dots the teeth we have an orange windshield insert there, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. And it's hard to describe, obviously it's just comic book style. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys the truck instead of describe this one. It's just a little too difficult to describe besides the actual words. So you can see there's a Hot Wheels logo, more comic book illustrations on the hood and the roof. Then we have room on the back here, a yellow tail insert, white ears, yellow horns. And then we have boom in the front and a nice green color on this side. So it goes from red to green with Crash, Rhino Mite, and the same style there, and Hot Wheels on the tailgate with a nice comic book illustration style with a red-orange roll cage, yellow chassis, red-orange rims, and shiny metallic blue beadlocks with black tires. So there is Rhino Mite. I really like this series, and I like that it's matte clear coat as well. So it does definitely look like a comic book, and there it is, Rhino Mite from the comic book Crashers. And next up is number 25 out of 75, Buns of Steel, a brand new casting for this year. There are the stats, and let's unbox it. 
All right, so I do recall seeing this casting in stores before as a Hot Wheels car. Usually for the Hot Wheels car, since they're 99 cents, they don't actually paint the burger or french fries, or at least the burger, if my memory serves me correctly. So for the 164 scale monster truck series, they did end up painting the burger in different colors because there's more of a price point there to work with. So you can see the burger is right here. It's very funny to see this on the truck. It has the hamburger with the cheese and the lettuce. Then we have french fries up here on the top. And I'm not quite sure what this casting is actually supposed to be as far as a car goes, but you can see we have the combo menu here with Flip, Crash, Crush, Buns of Steel, Hot Wheels logo, Moss Trucks with a nice style here for the red and white, white fenders, and then the front grille painted with a cool visor in black, Buns of Steel, Hot Wheels logo right there on the roof, and then a blue windshield, and then this side Buns of Steel in a big format with the cheeseburger, Hot Wheels, and Moss Trucks, and the tailgate here with the Moss Trucks logo and the red and white. And if you notice this license plate here says Ryu, that is a Hot Wheels designer who actually designed this car and many others who was very influential and sadly passed away, um, I think two years ago now. So Ryu is remembered through his casting on this Moss truck, which is a very touching thing to have. So I really wanted to point that out because other reviews have missed this detail. And Ryu is definitely someone who I've respected because I love a lot of his castings, especially this one. So I'm very happy that they made this in a Moss truck form and added that license plate dedication there. So Ryu right there from Hot Wheels. So there's that. And then we have a yellow roll cage, a gray chassis, metallic green beadlocks, black rims, and black tires. So there is Ryu's Buns of Steel Moss truck. And last one is my favorite of the castings so far this year, for new castings at least, and it is the Back to the Future Time Machine, the DeLorean from the series, number 17 of 75. And here are the stats if you're curious about them. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So like I've mentioned a couple times now, Back to the Future is one of my favorite movie trilogies of all time, especially Back to the Future 2, the specific one. That is one of my top five favorite movies of all time. And here is the DeLorean from Back to the Future 1. There is a couple differences between the Back to the Future DeLorean from 1 and 2. I think they add the food processor machine in the back, but this is the classic DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future 1. So it's nice to have any form of it in Monstruck's form. This is actually something I mentioned, I might've mentioned in a video way back in 2018 when they started, or 2019, around that time frame. I was hoping they would actually convert this car into Monstruck's form, and so far, we've been waiting and nothing's happened, and then this year, they announced it. So this is awesome. I love the brushed metal Zamac look to it. We have all the different components across the time machine, the DMC logo there with the headlights, and then we have the roof here with all of the flux capacitor wiring and all these different things here, the air vents in the back. And then of course it says California out of time, that classic license plate DeLorean right there on the tailgate with the taillights painted in and this side here. So this is just incredibly awesome. Not too much to talk about in terms of detail because it's basically just the DeLorean time machine. Nothing graphics wise is different, but um, I really love this just as a piece to have on the shelf. And then of course we have a chrome chassis, chrome rims, black tires, and a black roll cage. So there is the DeLorean time machine. Again, thank you to Brian Spaulding for this one. And thank you to Bryant and Alicia for the other three. And that will wrap up this Hot Wheels Monstrous review video, Case C of 2022. I will be back with case D through G in the coming weeks. Again, like I mentioned, these videos are going to be kind of filler on the channel in between Spin Master reviews because I have finally caught up to Hot Wheels. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. This is Reiner Monster Mo CD signing out.